Now we are going to learn the next type of storage class that is extern. If I say the extern in the short form, then you know that the global variables, so all the global variables are the extern variables. So extern is also known as the global variable. Well, we know one thing that extern is one more name that is the external variable. Now let us suppose I am taking a program. If I say that we are having function that is void sum and there are something written inside that and there is one more function let us suppose that that is void mult and something is written inside that. Now if I declare any variable on the top just like if I say int a now that variable is the global variable and we say it is the external variable because this int a is accessible inside the sum as well as inside the mult. So any variable that we are declaring on the top of the function is called the external variable or the global variable and this is called the external storage class. So there is one thing we have learned it is accessed by all the functions because it is global so it can be accessed by all functions and one more thing about the extern variable is they are both alive and active now in the starting of this storage class we have learned that alive and active now what that mean alive alive means throughout the whole program there is something which is present that is called alive and even though it is present it is in use means we can update it we can take the value so that means it is active so it is alive and active throughout the program means until the program is working then it will be active and alive talking about the external variable or global variable we know that it is declared outside the function we know that they are declared on the top that's why we are saying they are declared outside the function if it is declared inside the function that it will not be the global now one more thing about the extern storage class or the external variable that it is unlike local variable local variable we know that it is the auto auto is the local variable so unlike local variable global variables are initialized to zero by default now what that mean the meaning is that whenever you are going to declare any global variable just like we have declared this int a so automatically compiler will allocate the value as zero so that is the default value of the global variable but if i declare a local variable we have seen in many programs that they are getting the garbage value so that has happened with the local variable but with the global variable they are by default initialized as zero so what we have learned about the storage class we have learned that extern is a storage class which can be named as external variable or the global variable they are accessed by all functions because they are declared outside the function they are not the part of any function they are outside so this is the function one this is function two and it is outside that int is declared outside so they can be accessed in sum as well as mult so it can be accessed by all the functions and they both alive and active means throughout the program they become alive and they can be used that's why they are active and by default the global variables are having the value is zero and the local variables are not having the by default value as zero so this is about the storage class external